Welcome to Outlaw Woodworking. Today it's all about the Aura Mask. And recently, um, I haven't been doing any Aura Mask signs or anything for a while because I had such a bad experience and it just wasn't, I, I wasn't doing it right, it wasn't working. But recently, uh, a nice friend from Arizona, BA in Arizona, he gave me a good, a good uh, comment and told me how to do it. And basically what he does is um, he uses, uh, he seals it first with a 50-50 mix of Zinsser and denatured alcohol. Then he paints it with a base color and then he applies, um, he then puts a base color on it. He then puts the ore mask and rolls it out just like that. Then after carving it, he he does a 50-50 mix of the Zinsser and the denatured alcohol, again, inside the engraved areas. And then he paints it. And usually two coats is sufficient, he says. So I'm going to take his advice right here. I put on the sealer, then I, then I let that dry, and then I put on my base coat. Now I put, um, after I did this base coat, I sealed it again, and I'm not sure if that was the right way to do it, but I, I thought he said seal it again, and I sealed it again, but it ended up working anyway. And I let that dry, and then I put the aura mask on. Now this is the first time that I've even been close to being successful with the aura mask, so I really appreciate his comment, and again, thank you to the BA in Arizona. Um, not sure of his name, but he he was a big help, and I really appreciate it when uh, I don't mind uh, comments, even if they're criticizing. But right here, I roll it out both ways. I then take it over to my CNC machine, and I'm using some Rockler clamps to clamp this down. And I am this is an Avid CNC machine. It's pretty fun to play with. Right there I home the machine, then I do the XYZ. Now what I've learned on the XYZ or the doing V carves is don't do the XYZ with a V bit because it will not keep your project in the center. You need the XYZ with a straight cut bit, then just do the down plunge with the V bit. Um, to get your depth and, and it'll turn out perfect every time. So right there I'm going to do the down with, with the V-bit. I'm using a 60 degree V-bit number 1550 from Whiteside. I'll show you a picture right here and right here I cut it. And you can tell right away that it's successful when the when the aura mask doesn't peel up around it and it did really good. So thank you very much to my friend in Arizona for commenting and uh, that was a big help and it, it kind of encourages me to start maybe making a few more signs uh, because I, I kind of quit making them for a while because painting them is really difficult for me. I'm not a good great painter and um, when, when you don't use an aura mask and you have a bunch of detail to paint it takes you a long time. But this was really successful and uh, yeah here I'm putting a little trim around the outside. Clean it up. Now this sign is dedicated my, to my friend Gary. He didn't really, he wasn't crazy about my epoxy art that I've been doing. And so I thought I would make this sign for him. You know who you are. And uh, yeah. He, he gives free beer, so I'm going to put this on his garage someday. And uh, anybody that goes over there can have free beer. Anyway, right here I do what I'm told, and I seal all the inside of the, the V-carb, being pretty generous with the sealer, prior to painting. So I'm going to seal it all, let it dry, and then and then start painting it. Right there, it's all dry, and I start painting all the red. Now, my idea was to paint 
the free beer red, the outside edge red, and then the two beer mugs white. I thought that would look cool. This was a really easy sign to make using the ore mask. Um, so it is going to be an encouragement to, for me to start doing some more of these signs. That was one of the big things about having a CNC machine is being able to make a lot of different things. And, and sign, you know, it really does a good job. It's, it's easy to make signs with a CNC machine. Right there I get all the red done and then I switch over to some white. This this was very successful and I, I it really encourages me to do some more signs, so I am really grateful to the guy that told me the correct way to do it. Right here I pull the aura mask off and you can see that the the edges of all the letters are really nice and crisp. And I'm using an X-Acto knife just to get the little pieces off. I don't know why my camera goes in and out of focus. I'm not sure why that's happening. But... Now right there, I don't know if you can tell, but it did come out really crisp. I mean, I hardly had to do anything. So right there I router the edge of it and then I paint the whole outside, paint that black. Once I get the black all done, I, I get a small brush and touch up a little bit of the red here and there. It didn't really need a lot though. And then I take it outside and I spray about five coats of polyurethane. Thanks for watching this episode of Outlaw Woodworking. The, I'm really happy with the way the ore mask worked on this sign, so I think I'll be able to start doing a few more projects with the ore mask. I had such poor results in the beginning that I just quit doing it for a long time. But I really appreciate the, the guy from Arizona that commented on the ore mask video that I did a while back and him giving me those right instructions to do it correctly. So yeah successful ore mask and this was kind of a fun fun project to do and yeah thank you very much for watching please subscribe check out our store at outlawwoodworking.bigcartel.com and i'll see you next time later yeah.